All right, a question I get asked a lot is how to hook up these e-drums to your computer. So we're gonna go over that today. Um, basically two ways uh, that you can do it with a, way number one is with a cable like this, it's just like a guitar cable, uh, instrument cable, right? You're gonna take, you're gonna go to the head of your drum set and you're gonna find, uh, there's a left and a right out usually, at least on mine there is. You're gonna take one of the outs you could do this in stereo. You could use two cables and do the left and the right. Uh, today, we're just gonna do one. You're gonna take that cable, plug it into the left output. Um, if you only have one output, use the left output. You're gonna take it over to some type of interface. Uh, I'll cut away two here. I'm gonna plug that in. In this case, mic line one. And now you have an audio signal uh, connecting your computer to your drums. So in that case, what you need to do is make a new track that's an audio track. We'll just make it mono for this time because we're only using one cable. You would wanna make it stereo if you have two cables. Go over here, we hit the input. Um, we make sure we're set up here. Okay, so once you've connected the two uh, devices to the line input, you wanna make sure, first of all, that you're accepting a line signal, not a mic signal. And then over here on Pro Tools, I'm using Pro Tools, you could use anything. I'm getting just a signal. Now, if you, on your interface down here, if you needed more or less, you can see I'm turning this up. Um, you get more or less. That's pretty much the quick and dirty, easy way. Now, when you do that, you can only access the sounds in the module that you have. This is a TDK, uh, TD4KP, so I can only use uh, the sounds in that module there. So let's go to number two. Okay, so the second way you could connect your eDrums to your computer is uh, with MIDI. Um, this is if you want to control different sounds in your computer, you want to use something like uh, Addictive Drums or Stephen Slate Drums or something like that. Uh, you want to do that with MIDI. MIDI is not uh, an analog signal. It's a digital signal. Um, so it's a little bit of a different uh, setup here. So a lot of drums um, or a lot of devices use USB uh, to transfer the MIDI cable or the MIDI information. Uh, the drums that I have uh, use an old style MIDI connector. It's got one, two, three, five pins and you have to convert it to USB to make that work. So for me, I take this, you're gonna find the MIDI out, <clears throat> the MIDI out of your electronic drums. It, this is, by the way, this is a Mio eye connectivity. That's what I use uh, to connect mine. Um, I'm working on a MacBook Pro here. It does not have a USB-A in, so I have to convert it. So you have to plug that into something like this. This is a device from Anchor um, that converts that USB-A to USB-C. So then you come over here, you plug that into your MacBook Pro like so. Now, when I go and I create a new track, um, it's gonna be different probably depending on the DAW that you're working in. Um, you could make a MIDI track and that would take the information and then you have to funnel it down to um, an instrument type track. Uh, but for, um, for Pro Tools and a, like uh, for Logic, I think they use instrument tracks as well. We're gonna use an instrument track. So you find this instrument track, create, we're gonna make it stereo because we're gonna use stereo. Now if I hit record, um, I should see um, so we need we need to uh, instantiate the fancy word for put a plug in on the channel instantiate a plug in so I'll just use my Steven Slate drums for that pop up you go to create and just pick doesn't really matter. I'm going to use the very first kit that shows up. Double click, bop, bop, bop. And now, when I hit the pads, it's triggering the plugin inside of Pro Tools uh, to work. So it's wor so you can't use the sounds in the, in the module. Now you're using the sounds inside of the computer. That's called MIDI information, M-I-D-I, if you don't know. And the plugin inside of Pro Tools is what's going to make the sound or inside of Logic or Ableton or whatever you decide to use. So now my drums are triggering. You can see over here, 
um, the plug in here. And so that's MIDI. So if you have some issues on the top here, you can set this to all. That's the incoming MIDI uh, information. And then as you can see, it's being sent out. This is the output to um, SSD sampler. It's um, Stephen, Slate, Stephen Slate drum. So it's already being sent uh, where I need it to be sent. And so you don't have to touch anything. It's doing what it's doing. Um, and that's basically the two main ways to connect your eDrums to your computer, either be a line level signal. Now you need an interface for that. You do not need an interface to connect uh, MIDI. You just have to have a USB type port or USB-C port. If you don't have an A port, you need this little adapter like I showed you uh, to make it work. So that's connecting your eDrums to your computer. Thanks for watching. Bear Wolf. See you later.